All right, hey everybody. So after many months of planning, I finally finished the installation of the AIM Solo 2 CAN bus wiring. I um, wanted to make a video for those that are kind of grappling with uh, whether to use the OBD2 port, which doesn't provide a lot of information, uh, especially for people that go to the track, such as brake pressure and throttle position. For that, you really need to tap into the CAN bus, but uh, the instruction on the AIM site are somewhat limited. Um, there are a couple of good videos out uh, on the internet, including the Airron gauge install, uh, including the one for an F87, and I will post links to those videos that have helped uh, tremendously. Also wanted to give a shout out to Rolando for helping me out uh, this morning and uh, when I was in the pickle and trying to figure out the wiring. Um, really the, uh, the biggest risk that you're facing here is that if you don't do a good job wiring into the canvas, that you could potentially cause some electrical issues. So I took a lot of time uh, to make sure that I felt comfortable doing it. So a lot of research, looking at videos and pictures. So hopefully this video will help to those that want to do this and don't wanna to go to the three or four different sources. Um, Thanks to those guys uh, also, uh, and I, as I said, I will reference those videos. So I will guys, I'll walk you through kind of my uh, thought process around it, the, the, the timing parts needed, and I'll show you the car, what it looks like right now after it's been tested, uh, but I still have everything disassembled so you can take a look at the wiring and uh, hopefully this will help those that are still, that are interested in doing this. This is specifically for the M2, F87 2018 year. Um, I believe the M3 and M4 um, use slightly different pin configuration in the wiring harness. And also I found that some of the wire colors are different from um, what I've seen on the Alron, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, hopefully so, installation uh, video and on the internet. So what are you gonna need is um, a 10 millimeter socket uh, to remove the uh, the plastic pieces on the passenger side and also I did it on the driver's side and I'll show you. Uh, you are going to need a, 20, uh, a T20 sp uh, Spax um, that's longer than this in order to get into one of the one of the protrusion here. So I ended up using a three millimeter that actually works quite well and, and uh, this is actually to um, gain access to the electrical wiring on the right hand side, not not for the, um, the, the body panels that are on the inside. Um, and electrical wire, uh, scissors of course, um, and I ended up using the posit tabs. Um, I bought two sizes, the uh, the 16 to 18 AWG size was too too large. I ended up using the smaller size that fit nicely around the, the wires. Um, I have created a little uh, guide here for myself that I will uh, create a uh, spreadsheet copy for you guys and post it in the video. So in terms of where, what I've done is, so after you remove the panels, this is at the bottom of the footwell. Uh, there is, you then need to remove this side trim and you can use, uh, there are tools for that. I actually just pulled it out apart by hand. That will then give you access uh, to the, uh, to the canvas area. There is a plastic piece that sits, sits here that protects the wires. And this is where you need the T20 uh, torque screw to pull this um, plastic shield um, away and gain access. Um, also, there is a um, this wire that's hanging out that's hanging here does attach and slide into into the grooves here. So you need to you need to remove that that wire, slide this off, and then you can just uh, easily drop this down. Now, in terms of in terms of the actual uh, the wiring and the, um, the color coding, you have 
on the aim solo 2 you are you have six wires two of the wires you don't need so the wires that are uh, marked with uh, as an rs cables you're not gonna use those for the for the installation so i set them aside and just taped them off you have a send a set of can bus wires a positive uh which is the white one and a negative which is a blue one and they do tap into um a the positive one which is the white one taps into the red and blue wire which is hiding behind here you can see it you can see it back back there it's 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 really hard to see um and then the blue wire taps that's the cad minus that taps into into the the red wire itself i've already reconnected um i've already reconnected the battery but there is there are, again in the other videos it shows you how to how you can press the spin pull this tab up and it pops out so you get access to the wires um obviously make sure that you disconnect the battery first before you start tapping into the wires so ensure that you have to you have the right wires and i will insert a picture here that shows um where in the uh in the wiring uh what is it called um the plastic receiver the slot i guess where those belong to um the can bus positive and negative wires are next to one another so that that helps in terms of identifying them then you have the power wires this was a little bit tricky because the uh the color coding seemed to have changed uh was ch uh, changed for the m2 um at least one of them you have Again, I apologize, I already connected these, but you have the positive wire that goes to a, you can see a little bit better here, that goes to a green, green and gray wire. It's kind of hard to see. There, it's right here. And, I've, and the blue tape, I, I just made notes for myself, but, and then you need to find the the ground which is the black wire from the aim goes uh to where it's the brown wire uh here in the uh in the harness um i use the posi tabs my recommendation is first tap the wires and then screw on the um, um the m2 uh, connector um, after the wires have been tapped um, one other recommendation or thing to think about is when you do close everything out, make sure that the, that the wires are not unduly stressed when everything is back in place. Move it around into such a position where it won't also shake, so it potentially does, doesn't come loose um, or damage the wire in the long run. So once you have all of this wired and um are ready to uh pull the wire through what I, i've used a, a a stick actually i created that i had handy here from another from another uh small project that i had anyway i connected it like so taped it so that it doesn't come apart and then i actually attached the other end of the aim solo wire uh, I just taped it again to the uh, leading to the front of the wire and then I, if you will, snaked it in here, just gently, gently pushed it in uh, until I found no resistance and then I was able to, on the other side, I'll show you it came out and I was able to pull that out. You have to do the same thing on the other side. So you have to pull the um, the panel down, let the wire here. I actually ended up drilling a hole here that then connects to my to the AIM solo, which by the way is detective. It keeps turning back on, so AIM can help with that. Uh, the other thing to note here is when you are going to um, close everything out, make sure that the wire is behind this um airbag unit so 
wired behind it, wired on top of it, make sure it's not underneath it or or in front of it. That's where the airbag will, will release. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to run this test to make sure that the wire that I bought is long enough. This is a two meter long wire directly from AIM. Obviously not an issue here in terms of fit. And as you can see, it keeps, it keeps turning on. So um, use this little neat trick to hold the, um, the floor up. And like I said before, I was before I was gonna close everything out. I reconnected it and tested uh, to make sure that it works. Um, how you know it, it works is once the once it, once you turn on the car. Obviously, if you don't get any errors um, and uh, connect your once you connect your aim saw to, I, I was already I had some values there in terms of like coolant uh, temperature and and a throttle position, which is not what, what we want. Uh, but anyway, those are already coming through. So that's how I knew the, the wiring has been done correctly. And, um, and now I can go ahead and put everything back, uh, back together. So hope you found this um, helpful. If you have any questions, post them uh, below and I'll be happy to answer. Um, I'll also post the spreadsheet and links to the other videos that I found helpful uh, that you can also consult if you move forward with this project. All right, good luck.